Idealism in International Relations First of all, it must be noted that idealism is one of the most difficult terms in the vocabulary of international relations because no commonly accepted meaning exists for it. Likewise, no commonly accepted idealist tradition or paradigm from which to distill meaning can be found. While many academics and practitioners have ideals and seek to realize them, a self-consciously idealist school of international thought does not exist nor has one ever existed. Yet the term idealism is frequently used in both the theory and the practice of international politics. Those who use it often have only a vague idea of what they mean by it. It frequently means different things to different people. At the most general level, idealism refers to an approach to international politics that seeks to advance certain ideals or moral goals, for example, making the world a more peaceful or just place. This approach rests on a dual premise. First, that current world political arrangements for achieving such goals are inadequate, perhaps profoundly so. Second, human beings have it within their power to change these arrangements for the better, perhaps radically. As we can see, idealism stands for improving the course of international relations by eliminating war, hunger, inequality, tyranny, force, suppression and violence from international relations. To remove these evils is the objective before humankind. Hence, idealism accepts the possibility of creating a world free from these evils by depending upon reason, science, and education. Idealism in international relations, therefore, represents a set of ideas which together oppose war and advocate the reform of international community through dependence upon moral values and the development of international institutions and international law. Often in international political discourse, idealism is used as a term of disapprobation. More realistic critics frequently condemn an idea or proposal as idealistic if it goes beyond what can safely be achieved. Aiming to make the world a much better place, for example, by making it safe for democracy, may be noble but it is naive. It is based on a false estimation of what is possible in international politics, certainly at the systemic level. Letting their hearts rule their heads, idealists underestimate the achievements of the existing international order and fail to appreciate the delicacy of the threads that hold it together. For the idealists, however, the real name of realism is conservatism, pessimism, or defeatism. It is the ideology of those who benefit from unjust arrangements, who find sorry comfort in the thought that all is for the worst in the worst possible worlds, or who lack the moral will to fight for truth and justice. At this general level, the contest between idealism and realism is sometimes depicted as a central dynamic of international politics.